Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. So um, there is a inquest in the UK uh, going on today, uh, or it, it may have even been yesterday, um, by a coroner on obviously Jay Slater's injuries. But obviously, one of the questions I've got, it'd be hard to tell whether he'd been pushed and obviously the broken bones. Uh, to Jay Slater uh, to actually prove that. But I guess the family wanted their own quest, inquest as I think a lot of the public and maybe other family members and friends were probably pushing for them to do it just in case, which is fair enough. But I just think it will just uh, like evil uh, exists said, it will just go down as a accident. When Jay's body was taken back to the UK, an autopsy was carried out, which confirmed the same findings, that it was an accidental fatal fall and traumatic head injuries. The autopsy findings in Tenerife only mentioned broken bones. It's interesting, because I've been following true crime cases for a very long time, and every time I heard of a traumatic head injury, it was the result of someone being hit or shot in the head. Anyway, tomorrow Jay will be cremated. Many ask why the family chose cremation instead of a burial, because if Jay is cremated, then any possible evidence that authorities may need in the future is gone too. If he is buried, then they can still exhume the body as further evidence is needed. I find it extremely interesting that Jay's name is listed under open inquest today, the day before his funeral. If we take a look at the Lancashire government website, and go to birth, marriages, civil partnerships and death, and then deaths, and coroners. On this page, we see the inquests that are open and concluded. Jay's name is listed under open inquests and was only listed earlier today, the day before he is to be cremated. I just wish that it was just looked into and the witnesses were told to come forward um, so we'd have a, a you know, a, a proper inquest. But I just think that um, they did it just to confirm it probably was Jay. And secondly, that um, maybe they uh, they wanted to see whether there was any other damage uh, on him, which could maybe give us more insight into what really happened to Jay. But I think it will just go down as an accident by the coroner because obviously his funeral is tomorrow. It is. It doesn't seem like there will be a hearing though because Jay's funeral is set for tomorrow. That was my I point. feel like it's probably just to put it down as an accidental death. I will definitely check in the next few days if there is anything put down in the inquest concluded part of this site. Tomorrow Jay's funeral will be held. The media will be able to video a portion of it I believe. The public can attend Dan are asked to wear blue instead of black. It will be a celebration of Jay's life. That was from Ease Exist. Do uh, check his channel out. He's absolutely brilliant in the stuff he actually comes up with and puts out. And like I said, R.I.P. J. I'm going to do a part two on the Airbnb straight after this. Uh, welcome back to part two of the video. I thought this was quite interesting. Uh, thank you for the person who actually sent you this. And uh, because it's, it, it is an interesting bit of information, this is the B&B where Jay Slater was last seen leaving. Uh, the following images are from one of the uh, adjacent properties directly behind the B&B that has been sold for renovation. When I saw this video, it made me think there's a lot of land from the back um, because uh, a lot of people were saying was it kept under the Airbnb or round about the Airbnb. When we saw the Airbnb from the actual front, I didn't realise how much sort of land and uh, buildings behind that um, there actually was. And you, you know, you can keep stuff um, a secret there. So let's just have a quick look. <laughs> You can actually see 
um, like I said, some underground or goes underneath um, as well from behind. And look at that view, I've got, I've got to admit, it looks absolutely beautiful. It is said now there's a, um, some actual building work uh, going on there um, as well. Um, so Ophelia was the owner of the holiday rental, uh, Casa uh, Abula Tina, where Mr. Saint is understood to have stayed with the two acquaintances, Aup and Rocky. The thing is, is that Ophelia's uh, brother, uh, was said to be he he, he have also has B and B's and um, I believe that he does um, share the family business as well and this was a person of interest as he said to know a lot of people and people have said to me do you think there was a connection between um, Aup and Ophelia's brother I do think so because um, Ophelia's brother was known to be a little bit dodgy, um, dodgy dealings was done through a few things, convicted, and you can look that up online. Um, so it does make you think uh, still was foul play involved, and was he being kept or a body being kept um, at the property? There's a possibility because, like I said, we never really got what we got to see is the front of the property. Um, or the police investigating it a couple of weeks later and but it's interesting for us to actually go around um, because it seems like old um, there are places where you can actually keep people and was it a place that um, Aup and Rocky or other members use this place for different things It looks um, pretty basic, um, I guess for $40 a night, but it does make me think why A. Up and Rocky would rent just a place like this out in the wilderness and they've got all this money. Wouldn't you think that they would at least get something better, probably a villa uh, out in the country somewhere? It just makes you think because like I said, you know, you wouldn't expect top G's as you call it. Uh, to be staying in a place like this. It does make you wonder, doesn't it, and speculate. I always think it's good to get um, a whole view 
um, of the property and it was quite kind of mind opening because I was thinking oh there just must be uh, other sort of maybe houses or uh, you know like a little estate behind or something like that but it wasn't it was quite really really rural and quiet so if you did want to keep things quiet there or you know bring a body back you could do that um, uh, kind of easily without any uh, interruptions if you were smart about it and like I said if you had um, serious connections which we believe A up and Rocky did um, I think you can do anything and plus obviously with the the dodgy mayor being Ophelia's uh, brother um, there's still a lot of questions uh, I think uh, to be asked um, about Ophelia and what did she actually see whether her statement was correct um, I think personally she was actually lying I think there's quite a, um, a big connection going on between the underworld the police business owners to keep things quiet for them to enable them to make money and get on with their businesses this is what I think anyway in Tenerife That looks really old fashioned, doesn't it, as well? Yeah, so that was the B&B and uh, looking around the back of it. Um, I mean, his, like I said, funeral is tomorrow, so I, I just, just want to keep this um, short. And I did say if any. Uh, information does come up about um, Jay Slater that I would uh, put it up. Uh, thank you for the person who actually sent me this and it gives um, people a good scope of you know the surroundings of this BNB. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me Streamline Entertainment Marvin. Thank you.